What is the meaning of this? Only Tolan chose violence today. All of you guys are pacifists. You're taking the day off. You don't have any sick time. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we defeated the seized construct thanks in large part, if not really like 99% part, to Muniru, our own construct friend who seems to want to remain here waiting for us until we're ready to finally challenge Ganondorf. Of course, we're not yet ready for that. Um, no, not in the slightest. Today, we are going to illuminate some more light routes. I'd like to get over here, where there seems to be something of a treasure for me, but I'm not 100% certain how that's going to happen. So we'll warp out to the Spirit Temple entrance, and we will illuminate as many light routes as we possibly can in, uh, in anticipation of that because goodness sakes we've accomplished a whole lot in the southwestern corner of the depths haven't accomplished nearly as much in the southeast now let's just get our bearings about us oh is this yep this is the vow of maniru the holy middle finger ready to flip off our enemies great to see you all right let's go gang yeah no you can you can kneel elsewhere we are a formidable crew to say the least. Now, what would be the best approach here? Because I don't have any light routes marked. I've got this one marked, but it doesn't need to be. It's got several markings. It's got a stamp, a pin, and the emblem for the light route itself. Uh, let's go out this direction. Because this places us uh, on the eastern side of this building. And hopefully upon exiting, we'll be able to find Light route? Maybe not. Okay, can we ascend up here? Is this a building with a roof? Oh, God, perhaps not. Fine, 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 fine. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. We'll come over here, ready our bow, and fire off into the darkness some sort of illumination. Oh! Oh, it's a wall. Okay, well... <laughs> you know what they say about walls? Can't walk through them. All right, well, we can potentially go this direction. Highly a willing. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. There is... A handful of demons down there. Very good. Well, I suppose that's as good of a call as any for what we're trying to accomplish here, right? Let's go get involved in some tussles. And why don't we also destroy this big old zony deposit? We got here. Horriblins? I think I bypassed you guys yesterday or the day before yesterday. I don't even know that I want to work with you guys, all right? You guys are bad people. <laughs> you don't wash your hands, and and you smell like pickled onions, all right? And that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? But it just doesn't quite work for me and my Hylian palate. Is this... This is not something we can climb up over, is it? Uh, we don't have the ability to see, but I think that this wall just goes straight up all the way to the rooftop. So do we, we don't even want to be traveling with, with climbing. We don't want to be dirtying our fingertips the side of that wall. We'll go this direction continually lighting the way. Two bright bloom seeds there. Wow. Whoa. Let's 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 not drop just yet. Um You see something? You made a noise there. Yep, you guys see Okay, you're firing off arrows into the darkness. I don't necessarily know if that's the most uh well thought out plan there, Tolan, but hey, more power to you. Is this a something, something sparkling right here? Puff shroom. Okay, I was really hoping it would be a bomb flower. Not doing too hot in terms of those. Now this looks like it should be a light root thing, but I guess it's not. I don't know. We're down here. There should be a light root around us somewhere. It's very odd to me that I have yet to see one at all in the darkness. They tend to stand out pretty well. Something we could do as well is look at the map. And it'll tell us absolutely nothing. Yeah, perfect. That's a great, great, great idea. <laughs> well, you can like line up the shrines and the light routes and kind of find out where one's at. Do we have a photo of this big beefer? Ooh, the big beefy blue boy has now been photographized. All right, documented in the compendium. And what do we have up there? A traveler's spear, it looks like. Not something that I even want to get near. That's just nothing at all. Nothing to fear. Ooh. Ooh, that's a, a light route. It is a light route. It's kind of 
out of the way that I'm trying to go? Like, I'm trying to go to the right. What if we illuminate this a little bit? I just want to see if we could even go that direction. It looks like we can. Uh, I was expecting it almost to hit a wall, and it did no such thing. So we'll just run through the muck here. Uh, Link, you know, he's, he's God bless him, he's not necessarily wearing sealed shoes. Bombflower, very good. You'd think that he'd be able to, uh, to resist some of this thanks to the shoes that he is wearing, but only when he stands upon the back of the giant construct friend Maniru here. Can he actually avoid any of the gloom damage? Still no light route in this direction. This is concerning because undoubtedly it means that I've missed it. You know, like I've passed by something that would have granted me access to it, whether that be like a nook or a cranny in the side of the wall, a bombed, a bombable surface that we could have blown up and entered. Something, something was missed. Like there has to be a light route, like around here. And we are still yet not necessarily heading the direction that we need to be. We're pressing up against this wall rather feverishly. And it seems to me that we might be, well, inconvenienced, you see. Oh, okay, let's not drop there. Let's fire off another Bright Bloom Seed. We're running out of the Giants. Ooh, that was not necessarily the greatest of placements. We didn't get as nearly as much distance on that as I would have liked, but I suppose it still counts. Uh, is that the light route we just marked? Lo and behold, it in fact is. We'll get rid of the pin for it. We're not trying to head that direction just yet. I'm so sorry. I know you're over there being all orange and, and light root lack. It's very cool, very neat. Of course, I can't do it nearly half as well as you, but really, can't do anything else about it. Uh, is this accessible? This will be the last large light root we fire, or large bright bloom we fire off. Speaking that into existence, hopefully I remember it. <laughs> I'd like to maintain, you know, a nice healthy grouping of five of them. Just in case of emergencies. You never know when you're going to need a little less than a half dozen bright blooms. I don't, I don't know. Probably never. But still, you don't know that. I don't know that. We've got over a hundred times as many light ones for small ones. Anything over here? And just fire off a bunch of these since we have so many of them. We have double of them effectively. Duplex bow is badly damaged, so we're perhaps not going to get as much return on that investment as we would like. But we've got a little bit of light here. Hmm. That direction. What's over there? I mean, that's like the opposite direction that I want to go, so I don't know why I'm looking that way at all. I need to look this way. Go up here? Ooh. Something up there? What is that? Like green tentacle things. Maybe that's just plant life. Maybe it's just foliage. Probably is. Probably, but what are you? Yes, just plant life. Okay, very good. Well, hey, I, you know, it doesn't hurt to be a little cautious or a little worried or a little bit, I don't know, anxious. <laughs> Goodness knows I'm anxious aplenty. Is this, is this a dead end? Oh, it do be. Oh, it do be. Can we ascend through this? No, that is far too far above us. I'm not 100% convinced that this rock wall... Ow! What was that? Who touches me? Stop that. Die. You must perish. You dare touch the body of the hero. Why, it's been banned? Oh, she jumped. Goodness gracious. A little bit of overkill there, Manira. You're going to kill me. <laughs> oh, Manira's dropping bombs six inches away from my face. And frankly, it's exciting. I was going to climb this, but now that traumatic experience has since diminished my vigor and ability to do that. So I'm going to go this way instead. And we'll see if perhaps we can't get something out of it just from going around. It still, it, it feels like we're gonna have to go up though i just really don't want to have to experiment with that because i've had horrendous experiences with scaling the mountains inside the depths here i've had many a time where i've climbed up not for anything but bumping my head at the culmination of it <laughs> and frankly link's head's been bumped enough the poor dude's got a lump the size of texas and he doesn't need any more I don't need any more of those swords either, but I suppose we can get rid of them. Can I just ultra hand it out of your hands? Just get that out. Mm, no, I have to come up here. Then maybe? Because I don't want it in my inventory. Get out of here. You don't need that. All right, nobody needs that. Ooh, we got some 
mushroom stuff up here that we might be able to climb through. Mm. That looks like where we would potentially need to get to. What if we ascend here? Oh, that looks like it's so close to wanting to happen. All right, well, we can hopefully just jump over here. Good. <laughs> we can hopefully ascend through this. Cheech Among Us! Our inability to ascend will be the death of me today. It's fine. Once we reach the first floor, as it were, of this fungal tower, we'll probably then be able to do some ascent. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I didn't want to jump off. I want to jump on. There we go. Now we can ascend? Now we can ascend. Very good. Very well. I'm feeling particularly swell. And what? else is there nothing Ooh, this may have been useless no 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 not useless not useless see we can go that direction let's get up there we're gonna have to climb thank goodness we've got plenty of stamina for this because i can expedite the process with link's jumping abilities very frog-like in nature of course it's very impressive let's fire off some more Illuminative seeds. Very good, very good. I do love it when my seeds are illuminating. I've eaten a lot of sunflower seeds in my life, and they, you know, usually just make a mess of my teeth. Still no light roots, though. Really? This high up? All this darkness, and you see fit to hide from me still? Oh, God. Demons. But why do demons... But why do demons? Please. I need you, read you. Okay, yeah. I, t I touched her and she's like, I'm gonna run this way. Can we just... There we go. It did nothing at all. Perfect. Just as God intended. Alrighty then. How about we kill these fools? Come here. Waving your stick around like this. It's vulgar. And you, standing upon there. Horny. Blowing your horn too. No, it can't be permitted. I simply cannot allow this. More? Ooh, we got a silver friend here trying to fire off arrows. No, no. You gotta... I don't know where the end of this is. I'm gonna get some light here. Okay, you're close to the end. Maybe I can just encourage you to slide or fly. Oh, God, see you later. <laughs> that was comical. And I'm not too particularly choked up about it. I am, however, a little bit concerned with my own proximity to the edge there. I do not wish to be ushered across it or off of it. So I'm going to come reach a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more stabilized of a positioning here. You there, friend. Don't chuck. Ooh, I shot that rock right out of the sky. How come you guys are not attacking him? Friends, do you see how this boy? Thank you, Tolan. You see this, this demon? You guys care? At all? No? What does it mean? Look at him! He's assaulting you, Monero. Monero, do something about it, girl! Monero? What is the meaning of this? Only Tolan chose violence today. All of you guys are pacifists. You're taking the day off. You don't have any sick time! <laughs> Gosh darn it, can't you see we're at war? There's no time to be. Well, allowing yourself to get assaulted like that, what if you were killed? I'd be scrutled McDoodled, all right? I'd have no one to chuck at my friends, you know, but I'd have no one read you to electrocute my enemies. Sidon, I'd have no one to be mostly useless. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of useless, let's open up these crates and get the arrows out of them. That's their use. Knight's halberd, don't want it. Let's actually use a different hammer. The hammer I was using is actually quite good in terms of attack, so I'd rather save it for... Some sort of rocky enemy. Italis. Frox. Anything along those lines. Definitely not a box. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. My my law, my arch nemesis. Cubes! Oh, oh god. More illumination. This is the direction we kinda need to go. In a certain capacity, I suppose. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> we'll head on this direction one way or another just to see what we can. Might be a good idea to ascend up there, but I'll hold off for now. I uh, continually. No light roots. Pose, yes. Light roots, no. And another shade over there. Another spirit. Got another useless spear. And what is this? Is that a Yiga hideout again? Let me mark that. Where is that at? Oh, that's. 
That's right on our way. We're going to edit that into a star because that's interesting to me. Okay, well, I guess we'll, we'll press forward in that general direction. I am very concerned with the lack of light routes, though. Obvious, obviously, there are light routes here. They're around me, and I have to have come close to at least one of them. Just barely brushing by it, unbeknownst to me. But shoot, dude. I think they'd be a little bit more obvious. Little Frox babies, what's up? Y'all need to die. It's time, thank you. Yes, please. That's kind of sad. <laughs> See how they all flip underside and they all burn to death? Oh, you, oh, you survived? Stop, oh, he's eating his dead brother. What was that? Disturbing. He was feasting upon the remains, the carcass of his siblings. Oh, his heinous. Well, it looks like the Yiga clan hideout is elevated a little bit, so I'd have uh, my work cut out for me if I don't get some elevation of my own and fly over there. However, I don't know that we're going to be able to maintain elevation that much. Let's fire... Not that. No, no, no. Let's fire off some Bright Bloom Seeds. <laughs> uh, just to see what we're dealing with here, because maybe... Maybe I can work this and fly through it, or maybe I'll want to, like, spawn up a bird or something. Hmm. I, I still don't... I don't know enough about that darkness right there, but I think I can manage this enough. There's a big Poe over here. Hold on. A detour? arc this properly. We do it? Ah, uh, we're significantly short, it would seem. Oh. Oh, what's all this, then? There's architecture down there. Hello! Well, 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 well! Oh, my bow broke! I'm very intrigued. Very, very, very intrigued. Let me just equip this one. I'm running out of bows here, which is not ideal. Hmm... Hmm. Okay, well, let's humor ourselves and go on over here. At the very least, we get a nice tasty Poe friend at the Ancient Observation Deck. That sounds important. That sounds neat. <laughs> sounds like it might, for us, house a treat, a.k.a. clothing. Although we're already on the way to one particular piece of clothing, but still, you can never have too much, all right? Have you seen me inside of a Macy's? Astounding. I would very much like to have a light route so that I could just see this thing in its whole splendiferous entirety. Instead of like groping up and down it trying to shoot it with seeds. <laughs> let me see this building. Ooh, let me see this chest. Hello. What do you house for me? Either a crystallized charge or clothing, please. Okay. It's a large charge. It was indeed one of the two things I asked for. However, I should have clarified I wanted a bigger one than that. The game probably wouldn't have listened, but hey, there's no way of knowing now. Absolutely no way of knowing. There's more large poses as we descend down this. It'd be a good idea to probably revisit a bargainer statue again. We've got nearly a thousand of them. And I know that they can give us different things. Granted, the ones I have spoken to, I think I've gotten all the things I want from them specifically. But, 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 there are more of them. And I think they're marked here. Yeah, there's one here and one here. And that may, in fact, be it. Unless there's more for us to get marked, but I don't know that that's the case. Either which way, we'll find our way to them eventually. Anything interesting here? Nothing at all, but it's nice that it's illuminated. I suppose we can continue to illuminate our surroundings because we're just we're feeling particularly lighthearted today you see what i did there yes the theme of the channel is uh, particularly lighthearted in nature i don't really take anything too seriously but you already know that and now we're channeling that light hearted nature into our entire episode today because goodness gracious i think i've fired off like 300 of these things nothing particularly exciting just more demons ow my femur! I'm gonna femur you right in the forehead. Get out of here. How dare you? How dare you assault me like that? Oh, well, I've not been slided like this since I was a boy. Well, let's... Ooh, ooh, swimming in darkness. 
w one of my greatest fears, not necessarily something I would ever, ever, ever do. I've gone to the beach at night. You will not catch me touching that water. Mm -mm. No way. I'll be like Finn from Adventure Time. <laughs> not happening. I'm sorry. It's too dark. I don't even know what's happening right now. It's dark here. We need to throw some seeds on the ground. What do we have here? Oh, God. Whoa, way further down it goes, and there's a bridge of Khazad Doom. Oh, oh, that smells like clothing. Tolan, Tolan, could you, yes, please, give me a little bit of encouragement in this direction to the Tuft Canyon Mine, uh, right adjacent to the observation deck. Rusty Halbert, no, I don't think I will, but this, yes, please. I take this. Very good. You know, Bo, why don't you just go, like, rub your body on this aggressively? Thank you. Very good. If you could do it again here soon, I'd appreciate that. But I'm just going to grab these while they're out and about because, you know, I just love them. And you know, Bo, Tolan, Riju, everyone together now. Except that's it. And there was nothing else? One more piece of Zonite? Um, what is this? There's something here. You see that? You can't hide from me. You stuff. Maybe you can. All right, Riju, I'm actually going to have you electrocute this. Everybody move. And that's fine. There's nothing there. All right, very strange. We had just the smallest increment of that stone snicking through. And it wasn't actually useful. <laughs> well, hey, I guess that's not entirely unheard of. Cap of the Hero. According to legend, this cap was once treasured by an ancient hero. It's quite a simple cap, yet there's something about it that's just so appealing. Uh, cap of which hero, specifically? We have the cap of the wind, which is a hero. We have the tunic of the wind, which is a hero. We have the trousers of awakening. Trousers of, yes, yet another hero. Trousers of time, another hero. Sheik's mask, ostensibly the mask of a hero, but not the link hero. Fierce deity mask, also related to the hero. Is this part of the Trousers of Time? I'd have to imagine it'd be called the, like, Cap of Time, though. How does it differ from Wind Waker's hairstyle? It's a little longer. It's got... Oh, I think this is, like, original Link. It's got that, like, yellow band on it. That is not something that was the case in Ocarina of Time, so it certainly doesn't go with the Trousers of Time. But, nonetheless, exceedingly awesome to have! Love all of the nostalgic pieces of clothing. Hopefully we get more of that soon, particularly at the one that we're actually headed towards, which is right here. We're very close to it, very near. Although I do suppose that going down like this is not necessarily helping us with that goal, but it might help us with something else. I mean, look at this. This is more zony. Zamboni zony. Get in there, homie. Oh, yeah. Give me all these. These are mine. Making lots of Zonite tonight. It's very nice. Everyone get excited. <laughs> We're all doodling this dandy. Go. Give me more. And that's it. Very nice. Can I ascend through this? I can indeed. Hopefully this doesn't take us all the way to the surface. Hopefully instead it just takes us some somewhere important. Is this good? I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, not necessarily as high up as I would have hoped, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers. And beggars can't be losers either. Right? Is that, is that how the saying goes? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I lost a little bit of ground there. But that doesn't inherently make me a loser. Anyways, we are still headed. Somehow, some way, headed in the right direction. Hopefully we'll continue to make that the case here. Things are starting to get a little hazy. I've done swam around in far too much darkness without illuminating the light route. And frankly, I'm feeling nauseous as a result. Let's get some bright bloom seeds over here and uh, perform the work of a small light root. This is interesting. Oh, I've been in there, haven't I? I think I blew up some stone there. If I haven't, it looks like the place where stone would be to blow up. Maybe it's just missing. Maybe some other adventure snuck on by and stole my spoils. Poopy, how dare you? You can't be doing that. I'm the only adventurer here. Maybe? I don't know. Shoot. Hyrule's a big place. There could be anyone doing any number of things. And we want to do the one thing, which is continue up this direction, I guess. I mean, this, yeah, this will take us to the Yiga thing. 
which is kind of what I'm trying to do here. It's not necessarily the purpose behind my whole uh, southeastward journey, but it's on the way. It's on the way, and hey, a handful of Poes are nice too, growing ever closer, ever nearer to a thousand of them. 991. Boom shakalaka. Is there anything else here now that we can actually like see this? It's very grand sort of building, but it doesn't necessarily house anything else for us, I can't imagine, because we done tapped it out of both the crystallized charge and the clothing that was adjacent to it. Of course, the clothing was technically part of the mine, but you know what I'm saying, right? They're all part of the greater single location, the one location, the one geographical area being that. Anyways, rambling aside here, still don't see a light route. Why are there no light routes? Garnering more height, though, is allowing us to see what I believe is immediately adjacent to the Yiga hideout. So that's helpful at the very least. Yep, I see the Yiga, too. Just barely over there with the Poe. So that's helpful. At least in some capacity. Gosh darn it, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I will take what I can get. Anything in the way of illumination, anything in the way of sight that helps me visually is A-OK -okay with me. This is a crazy light route drought, though. Astounding. We're at such a good vantage point, I think. I don't know. We could be surrounded by a bunch of giant pickles, and I wouldn't know it because it's dark. Look at this. The abandoned Luralin mine. Interesting. This feels like someplace we would fight Koga, but I thought Koga went to another mine. Koga went all the way northwest. I do believe. He's somewhere over here. Hmm. Well, I don't know. We're about to investigate this. It's abandoned, though, right? Is it? How abandoned is it? Because there's definitely some Yiga fortifications hanging out around here. Ooh, muddle button. Let me get your flowers. But I don't actually see any Yiga peeps. Okay. Oh, God. I'm spearing myself here. Let's not do that. Let's go over here. What's up, friend? If you got a, uh, a schema stone for me, that seems to be the case uh, usually. In fact, it often pleases me to get something like this for free. Welcome. This was one to busy. We finally were many deals with Zata. My task to manage designs. Please hold on a moment. I have confirmed there is schema stone. Okay, perfect. Just as I expected, and it's a what now? A dirigible? Durigible? Durigible? Dir I'm not necessarily certain how to pronounce that, but it looks like two balloons on a single platform. Why is that helpful? Um, I mean, thankfully they give us the parts to test it so we can kind of <laughs> get some, some first-hand experience as far as how that works, but I don't actually think that that's anything particularly... Yeah, it's literally just like a, like a, like a wide hot air balloon. Huh. Well, shoot. If we have the parts for it, it's not a bad thing. So we'll do it here. And build me the, 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 the didgeridoo. Oh, it's been didgeridone. Very nice. And interesting to me is that there's flame emitters as well as torches. It's nice because if we had like a shorter battery life, the flame emitters would shut off. The torches would be lit and they would continue to provide lift for the balloons. Now, would they want us to use that? Do we want to get up high somewhere? What is that? Oh, that's just a thing. That's nothing for me. Okay. Well, hey, we can come talk to this dude, though. It's been a minute since we did any refining, and we have acquired a certain amount of zonite that we might be able to use tonight. Well, I guess it's not night. I don't know. Maybe it is night when you're watching this. Who knows? It's not night when I'm recording it. That's for certain. It's lunchtime. Zonite. Yes, please. Uh... Thank you for getting turned on at my uh, ar arrival. That's not normally something that I would <laughs> uh, ever say, but in fact, it is what happened here. And let's get some of these. We've got 95 large zonite. Yeah, give me the large charges. I'll take them all. And that'll allow us to grow our battery a little bit more. I mean, I don't want to do it until we hit 300 again. We got 195 zonite. I might save the zonite 
I'm gonna get some of these too. I might save the normal Zonite because I do like to use auto build and that is the material used for it. And frankly, while I was just saying that we do have a lot, we've accumulated a certain amount of it over the last, whatever, few episodes, even longer than that, uh, it's still not enough for me. I need more, okay? Gosh darn it, I'm a greedy boy. Ooh, and I get more chests, look at that. Oh, what my hot do? Isn't it amazing? Look at that. We're 85 away from going to get an upgrade. I'm going to take these bananas and Sunday lines too, and I'm going to climb up here because this is how I read. Everyone has been ordered to carry a medicinal herb called the Sunday line at all times while in the depths. This order is based on intelligence stolen from the Zonai survey team. Sunday lines have shown promise as a treatment for those suffering from decreased vitality due to gloom exposure. This rare herb is found only in areas where things have fallen from the sky. They may come from the sky islands. If this information is accurate, Sunday Lions will save me trips to the surface. I just wish they weren't so bitter. If only there was such a thing as a sun banana. A sunana, maybe? Glory to Master Koga. I mean, you could cook up the bananas with the Sunday Lions. You could kind of cut the flavor of the earthy grain itself with it. I mean, I don't know. Have you ever had banana bread? Something tells me the banana bread might be something the Yiga clan would be interested in. Unfortunately, there is a potentiality that they only do, in fact, like raw bananas, since those are the only things I ever find them with. You don't see them with a, with a banana pudding, or a, a banana pie, or a banana salad, or a banana sandwich, or anything of the like. It's just more or less the bananas solo style, and hey, that's fine too. Give me, give me a banana, I'll eat it. But don't give me a banana flavored something, because that's not... Not very good. All right, I'm not a picky eater, but I don't like banana candy. You guys probably don't like it either. What I also don't like is still lack of visible light roots. Jiminy Christmas! Lack of visible light roots may end up being the title of this episode. I don't know yet, but you'll know now. Jiminy Christmas. All right, where are we headed? We are so close. We can get rid of this star. We need to head that way. Which is illuminated thanks to this light route. But we're going to do that next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment, or subscribing if you haven't already, so that you can watch daily episodes. That's right, I produce a crap ton of videos. Either which way, I'm just thankful you were here today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.